Hello, 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 and welcome to another video on my channel. As some of you might remember, one of my first videos was a video where I went to the sun and tried to land on it. Now, a short while ago, there's been an update, which is called the re-entry update, which makes sure there is drag, and the drag makes you have heat, which you need a heat shield to resist uh, and to have your parts not break. Now, today I'm going to see what happens when you try to go into the sun with a heat shield uh, and I just want to see how quick the heat shield will warm up and maybe even break but we'll have to see so first I'm going to get my trajectory to um, the sun and you also have this physics warp now which apparently I'm already doing um, and as you can now see I'm going to get a trajectory to about uh, 50 kilometers uh, above the surface kind of of the sun um, which will be like so and well this is just where that there will be enough drag for me to not escape the sun again which can be very annoying this is my little craft or craft I guess um, and as you can see it has a capsule with a little heat shield I'm going to time warp a bit of course because this is going to take a very long time if I wouldn't and well of course you pick up a f uh, an insane amount of speed when you go to the sun uh, and I just want to see what will happen when we enter the sun's again atmosphere because it's not really an atmosphere it's just the sun um, and of course the sun is also quite uh, thick with air and other stuff and now let's decouple this one we're not generating heat just yet but we'll see when that uh, is going to happen I really hope to see that it goes quite slow. <laughs> okay, so what I was going to say is that I hope it goes quite slowly at first. Um, it it did not go slowly at first. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm still at 298, but it's fully destroyed. So that's where it destroyed itself. So I think the the um, actual amount of drag must have started at 300 um, I'm gonna try again and I'm going to now have it a bit higher actually to 300 then I guess or 299.9 and let's hope it doesn't fully destroy itself so I kind of expected this but then I also didn't I didn't expect it to actually go this quick um, but we'll see what happens when I try this. If it will at least survive for a second. <laughs> because it it just went instant just then. Let's see. Oh, that's already 300. And 299.9. Now let's see what happens. Time warping, of course. And decouple and point the heat shield towards the sun, of course. Now let's see how long it will survive. It's still at 299, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, 299.8 now. I really hope it doesn't go that quick, because otherwise it would mean we basically can't go into the sun anymore. Which I guess is realistic, but it's also quite sad still. Here we go, we are almost at 300, which is when the drag will start. Let's see how long I will survive. 3, 2, 1. 1. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I guess it wasn't instant now. It was still very quick. Um, oh, wow. Well, I guess this is quite a short video because uh, there isn't much more to do now except just think about how crazy that was and just realize we can't go into the sun anymore so well I guess this was this whole video already um, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you on the next one so thank you and bye bye